it's Shen here. Welcome back to my channel at Mama Banana, where I share hacks, tips, and fun product reviews, all centered about mom and crafty life. Today, I have a product review and comparison and testing for you, okay? I will be reviewing the Jujube Be Cool and Fuel Cell. I want to show you which one is actually better at insulating your food. You will be so surprised at the results. I'm going to go through the whole experiment with you so you can see for yourself. And at the end, um, I will show you how these fit within the um, two of the more popular backpacks. Um, I run a monthly competition on my Instagram channel where I give away customized due to be goodies. And I'll go into that at the end of the video. So let's just get straight into it. Like mommy's bag. See my bag. Um, your bag is upstairs. Let's go through the features of each of the bags first and then I'm going to go into the experiment that I actually ran to see which is a better insulation, is better at insulating your food, keeping it hot or cool. So let's start off with the Be Cool. So the Be Cool, it comes with this removable long strap, okay? You can actually wear this crossbody. I'm going to show you now. So this is it on its longest setting and it hits me at around my hips here. I am just shy of five foot three. Okay, I'm going to take the straps off. Okay, less distraction. I have this in the Honey Jukes print and it is so cute. Okay, and in the Be Cool there is a slip pocket here. Okay, perfect for keeping napkins, etc. It is double sit and it is nice and deep. Inside there is no print. It this is a structured lunch bag, okay, which is quite different to the fuel cell and it has kind of the silver white clean lining on it. Um this is also machine washable. I have washed my Tokyo Market Fuel Cell, which I use all the time. I've washed this twice already and it comes out perfect as it does with all the other Jujube bags. So for me, I prefer to use a short strap over a long strap. So my daughter wears this crossbody and she uses the strap that comes with it. And this is actually my bag. This is the Tokyo Market. Okay, and I like to use it with a short strap from a B set or a B quick. Okay, I just find it a bit handier and I like the slimmer look of it. It's just easier to kind of grab. But look at that for perfect print placement. I have coffee, no, Cocotella, I can't remember, Chocotella down here with the whole entire stand. And then I have Donatella up here with the donut shop, so cute. So this is the super popular and versatile fuel cell from Jujube. There is a grab handle up top, which is also detachable on one side. Okay, so this is really, really handy. You can hook around your stroller, etc. One side is sewn in. There's no pocket on the outside. Again, it is has a double zipper pull. The zips on these are so smooth. There is no structure to this, okay? So inside I have um, my scarf, just to keep it upright. Um, when there's nothing in it, it just collapses completely flat. There is a vinyl clear, clear vinyl zip pocket up top, which is super handy for utensils, etc. There is a soft insulation all around, which works so well. We'll get into that later. And if you want to wear this crossbody, here is a tip for you. Grab a strap from another bag. I just have this one from the Honey Jukes because it's nice and handy. And just clip it onto the D-ring, clip it onto the hook. And there you can wear it crossbody or... So the question that I see come up most frequently is, which is better at insulating your food? Well, I see everyone say it is the Be Cool and you would think that because of its lining and it just looks more like a lunch bag and how it's made. 
but it wasn't quite my experience with the food that I kept in. So I ran my own experiment. In fact, I ran two, one with frozen food and one with hot water. And here are the results. So for the first experiment, I popped in two frozen ice pops into each of the lunch bags. And then I left an additional ice pop out as a control. So I checked in after an hour and the control ice pop was completely defrosted. The one in the Be Cool were actually still pretty cold and frosty and the ones in the fuel cell were actually still frozen. So after an hour and a half I went in for the final check on the ice pops and the ones in the Be Cool were mostly defrosted. Still some frosty bits but it was mostly um, melted and the ones in the fuel cell were actually still frosty. I was quite surprised they're still semi frozen. So as you can see from that first experiment, okay, the fuel cell came out on top. It kept the food colder for longer. The yogurt, the frozen yogurt was still quite icy and stiff, whereas it was melted, quite melted in the Be Cool. But okay, my theory is that because the frozen ice pop was so small and this is so floppy, it just kind of hugged it. This just kind of got to hug it better so it, the um, ice pop was just more surrounded with insulation whereas there was a lot more space in this. So I had to run a different experiment and I wanted to be able to use a thermometer and the only thermometer I have is um, a human thermometer which only works within the 30 to 40 degrees um, Fahrenheit Celsius range. So what I did was I got two cups, I got some hot water which I adjusted to the high to the low 40s so that it is measurable by the thermometer and i popped it into the two bags and here's what happened so i confirmed with a thermometer that both cups of water had the same starting temperature of 40 degrees i popped the lids on these are non-insulation cups put them into the lunch bags and zipped them right up then i came back after 15 minutes just to check the temperature of both and interestingly the fuel cell the water in there came back 0 0.3 degrees warmer very similar but still the fuel cell came out on top then after 20 minutes I came back to measure the temperature of the water and again the fuel cell came out on top with almost a whole degree warmer at 0 0.8 degrees celsius so then I came back for a final check and after 20 minutes the water in the fuel cell actually came out at 0.7 degrees Celsius warmer than the water in the Be Cool. And again the fuel cell came out on top. Can you believe it? I was absolutely convinced it was going to be the Be Cool. Again I think it is because this is so squishable it's just hugs whatever it is better so that there is less space inside and um, because this is so stiff there's more space on the air around it will cool quicker with this there's kind of less space around it so it won't cool as quick at least that's my theory anyway but i've run two experiments already and it was the fuel cell that was better at keeping the food cool and keeping it hotter for longer as well so here I have a Be Zealous, again in Honey Jukes print. Very popular bag for a good reason. And normally I would put my Be Cool in here. I just leave it open. I don't usually close it. And this is where I pop all my snacks for the kiddos for the day. It's not snacks for me, snacks for the kiddos. And I like the way it just stays open. You know, so it's very quick and easy for me to access the food. And that's how the Be Cool fits inside the Zealous. Lots of room. Um, just to show you how the fuel cell fits inside. See, the thing with the fuel cell is that it's quite floppy. So um, even when it's full, I don't find it as convenient to kind of keep in this bag. I like the way the Be Cool stays open. It's just super handy like that. So that I can quickly grab snacks, close it all back up. And here I have the Mini B, which is quite similar to the 
midi, okay? And there's a be cool in there. It takes, it's almost the width of the bag, okay? But it actually can easily, if you push this over, you can easily fit a water bottle in here as well and whatever else you need. So there's still kind of plenty of room, but if you were to bring anything else that's kind of bulky, I'd probably line it at the bottom and then put the Biku on top. Okay. Um, similar, there, that is the fuel cell in the Mini B. Just to mention, okay, with the fuel cell, it's just a single piece of fabric all around the whole front, so it's easier to get print consistency whereas with the be cool there's four cuts of fabric up the front so it may cut up your scenery if it's just something to think about if um, the print is very important to you i have a question for you okay if you have the fuel cell what do you use it for and if you have the be cool what do you use it for gdb fans are just so creative and innovative i know that these are usually used for all sorts of things aside from just food okay because we just love to find lots of uses for our bags please share how you use your bags in the comments down below with other mamas the more uses that we can find for our bags the more bags we can buy just to mention as well i have a customization idea for you um GGB is quite an unusual product in that people love to get them customized. People are obsessed about them. By people, I mean me. Okay, I am obsessed with GGB products. Um, one of the things that you can get done if you want to customize your bag easily is you can have it minied. With this one, I think I took about two inches off the bottom so that it will fit kind of a lunchbox better. Just slot it in here and it won't take up as much room in a bag. And look how cute it is, mini. And I'd be sure to check me out on Instagram. There is a monthly giveaway, and um, so far this month I've given away a mini to be light, and um, some customized set pieces. Um, this month I am actually going to make something completely different. I am thinking of making a coin purse ID wallet from scratch, so it's not just modifying an existing bag it really depends what i'm feeling each month what i want to do so check me out on instagram if you enjoyed this i would really appreciate it if you gave it a like and i would love for you to subscribe to my channel i'm doing a series on all the jujube bags because i am jujube bags obsessed i love the organization i love that they could be machine washed love that the interior is anti-microbe I love that they are white clean, they love the cute print, and most importantly, I love the community of moms. If you go on Facebook, there is lots of Jujube um, groups. There's the official Jujube community, Pink Ladies Chat. It's just a bunch of really, really great, positive women that are bike lovers, enablers, lovely, wonderful people. But I am doing this this whole series on Jujubee and then after that I have I have dyed my own leather bag so I'm going to show you how to dye your how I dyed my own leather bag if you would like to try that yourself and then there will be back to a bunch of hacks tips and products I recommend from mamas so thank you so much for watching stay safe wash your hands thank you and goodbye